Good morning everyone. How are you today? I hope you're feeling well on this beautiful sunny day. Um, so today I want to talk to you about boat prices. We've shown you around a few boats now. We've been around a few in the sunshine and the rain. We've seen um, different kinds of boats. And we're doing a bit of a study to see uh, what we can expect to get for our money. Now, for the sake of research, we're looking at just monohulls um, up to our budget of 100,000 euros, give or take, say, 20 or 30,000 euros. So if in UK, that would equate to about 100,000 sterling um, US dollars. Just pop onto currency converter and have a quick look. And one thing we've noticed is the obvious, of course, for your money, is the size and what you can get for the 100,000 stated budget. In this chart, we can get a boat from anywhere between 35 foot and 50 foot for the same price. You might ask yourself, how come? Why is that? Well, there's lots of factors to take into account. There's some are obvious and some not so. Um, so one of the least obvious ones we've found is where the boat is moored. Or more precisely, the country it's located in. Obviously, you've got the currency conversions taken into account. But even here in France, there is a vast difference between boats for sale in the south of France and the north of France, or even in La Rochelle, where we've been uh, lately. The condition of the boat, or the sea, if it's well maintained or not, because it can go either way. The urgency of the sale. So if the boat owner is not in a hurry to sell, interestingly, um, well not, you know, not surprisingly rather, he can wait a bit longer so he's happy to maintain the price. On the other hand, if the boat owner is in a rush to sell, to sale, for example, during the coronavirus, we had this quite a lot, um, boat prices would drop, so you get more for your money. The age of the boat is clearly a factor. Um, so in this example, we could look at that first boat, the Veneto Oceanus 50 we looked at, a much older boat, uh, 1999 from memory, 50 foot for the same money. Whereas if we looked at the Dufour 350, which is a much, much newer boat. So here's the chart for the size of the boat and then followed by the age of the boat to show you exactly what I'm trying to get at. So as you can see here on this graph, we have the boat price, price by size. On the x-axis, you have the price on the vertical on the left-hand side up to 250,000 euros. And on the y-axis along the bottom, you have the size measured in feet ranging from 32 feet up to 50 feet. So for an example, we were looking at a price range of 100,000 euros. Looking at this, you can see if you take that line, so it's the second line up, we can expect to get a boat anywhere between 41 and 49 feet. So as I said, this is based on size. If we go just outside that range, you see you can find a boat for 33 foot and you can find one at 50 foot. And this will give us then a market average. Incidentally, this graph is based over a selection of 20 or so boats in France. So to understand better what is going on, we would need to compare this chart by with another one, which is a boat price by age. There are other factors to take into consideration, obviously. For example, you can be pretty sure that that big spike going up to just short of 250,000 euros for a 40-foot boat is because it's much, much newer, or perhaps it's a much higher specification. So let's take a look at the second chart. <music> So the age of the boat plays a big part too, as we've already said, um, we've looked at various sizes and when it comes to the age, the second chart that we're going to show you, for example, a boat of 1983, how can it possibly be the same price as a 2013 boat? So we've already discussed a little bit the condition of the boat, whether it's been well maintained or it's been a workhorse or a charter boat, for example. The configuration is also important, we've found that some configurations um, for example, an owner's version on a monohull are actually really hard to find and so they hold their value much better. Meaning that an older boat could be the same price as a newer boat. You've got the upgrades as well, whether they've got solar upgrades, 
whether they've got uh, washing machines or reverse osmosis or other types of water makers, the size of the tanks as well, water tanks, fuel tanks too. Um, anyway, it's all a question of head over heart, heart over head. Um, and it's a really hard decision to, decision to make, it's an emotional one as well. And the point of the charts is it helps us recognise and understand the market and of all understand and recognise a good deal when we see one. So let's see what they say shall we? So you look at this boat chart price by year. Once again left hand side you have the price of the boat from 0 to 250,000 euros and along the bottom you have the year ranging from 1973 all the way up to 2021. So if you recall that big spike that we had on the first chart the boat price by size that corresponds with this boat then we now know it is a 2021 boat uh, from memory it's a, boat, it's a Beneteau Oceanis it's a brand new boat just off the market off the line um, so 2021 and that's the price so that explains a big spike. Otherwise, if we take the line again, 100,000 euros to the second line above, we can see by price, by the year of it, what we can expect to get. So as you can see, the first one that hits that mark is a 1983. Now, if you recall, we visited a 1983 schooner, which was 49 foot, and that's this boat here. The next one that comes close to the mark is a 1991 boat, just under 100,000 euros. And you've got three boats which are above it, approaching up to 140 or 150,000 euros. And you can see as we go through the timeline, these boats are much newer, going up to 2000, 2001. And then we have three boats here, 2001, two, and three at 100,000 euros. And then again, four and seven, and all the way up to 2013. Don't know if you saw the video on the Dufour 350. That is the 2011 boat that's on this chart. Uh, that was up for 128,000 euros. The 2013 boat, which is just under, we are going to be visiting soon. So this chart, by comparison to the other one, really helps us to understand what age we boat we can get for the money as the other one opposed to shows us what size boat we can get for the money. Combining the two gives us a general look across the board of the local as in the French market currently here in 2020 just as we come out of the COVID-19 pandemic. So that's it folks. I hope the video was of use to you and insightful. Uh, for any of you guys in the same boat as us we'd love to hear from you. Perhaps a market where you live is different, if you're in another part of France or be in another country entirely. Keep in touch, like and subscribe, and see you soon. Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine. Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine. Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine. Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine.
Thank you.